What's going on guys, it's Danny from Slow Restoration and we are gonna try something on the Turbo GMC here. Up there we have some black vinyl I already had. This modification will be free except for my time. And uh, we're gonna try and wrap the shiny part of this wheel. Um, there's a flat all the way around here and then down each spoke here. The rest of it's like a textured finish. Um, so we're gonna try to change the look of these wheels without going too crazy. It's not my overall plan for these for this uh, wheel tire setup, but we're gonna try. Like I said, it's gonna be free except for my time, so we're gonna give it a shot and see how it turns out. The first step, as always, is to clean with some 70% isopropyl alcohol and uh, make sure the surfaces are good, clean, and dry. So after that, it is a little tricky. Uh, you can't just start one spot and work your way around. You'll be bunched all up in one spot. So I kind of pressed it into the center here and I got it to stick and just kind of pulled evenly around. Got a little bit of stretch. Um, we will have to work it a little bit for sure. And then we can start doing our relief cuts, um, getting rid of this bunched up material on the outside. So we'll just have to work it from here, but kind of looks cool like that. So we can relieve the stress a little bit as we go. As you can see, we got this. We're just going to kind of pull it back off this outer bead area. And then we'll take the, the squeegee and just work our way around here, rolling that up. We're going to trim it on the inside edge here and leave the chrome or the, yeah, the chrome outer edge of it. I think that'll look pretty cool. All right, we got, uh, got it sealed all the way around to that inner lip and as i said we trimmed all that off um so we have each one of our see that there each one of our spokes kind of highlighted now we're getting a lot of tension so we're going to have to start cutting uh doing some relief cuts and we're going to hit this with some heat and then we'll trim off like i said right through there and then keep this chrome edge Hit with a little heat, seal up what we have. We got our edge trimmed up, and you can just take your squeegee and, and touch up any small spots that you might have. Make sure that's sticking really, really good. We'll hit that with heat again, and then we'll start making our relief cuts in these windows and getting these uh, spokes laid down here. Got my relief cuts in there. I just kind of fold those windows in just so you can see. Uh, now we'll actually make sure we come down far enough. We'll cut and just work these uh, strips right over top of those spokes. See if I can set that there and uh, see if we can do one of these. We'll just cut that. Then we can just take that. It sticks really good to this stuff for some reason. It's kind of weird. Just use your finger to outline that right on there. And that looks really good. We'll keep going, we'll do one more. Make sure we don't have any wrinkles as we come down. We'll hit that with some heat to shrink it up before we trim it. But as you can see, they laid in there really nice. And then we'll just end up trimming right around all these edges. There we have all of our spokes. We'll just get rid of that center. And um, yeah, it looks good. Now we just got a lot of trimming to do. And there we have it all trimmed up. Definitely didn't come out quite like I had thought. It's actually kind of Kind of even hard to see it with the chrome on there, but um, gives it a little bit of a different look. Look at it a little bit from an angle. Probably won't end up doing it, but it's definitely something you could do. Especially if it was a little bit bolder color, like maybe green. So that was kind of a fail. Uh, like I said, it's just not, not visible enough. It, it looks just kind of like a dirty rim, to be honest with you. 
as you're walking up to it. So we'll probably scratch that idea. I'm not gonna pull it off right yet, no big deal. Um, let's actually jump in the truck and we'll take it out and see if we can't get any reactions. Um, be the first time I drove the truck since it's wrapped and it's very, very bold. So I don't know, let's take it out. It hasn't been driven in a while, so it needs to stretch its legs anyway. And uh, we still have the one fender not wrapped. Um, if we do get some people's reactions, maybe we'll get their opinion too. The more I see it, and it seems like the more people that watch the videos, they're starting to change their mind. Most people like that now, but um, yeah, both ways are both ways are okay. All right, guys, we're also going to take this truck out and drive it. I mean, the more I see it, the more I like it. Uh, it's kind of one of those things that's got to grow on you. Um, I know a lot of people say I ruined the truck. It is just a wrap. We can take it off. No big deal. And I think a lot of people are getting confused with this truck and the new Turbo GMC build. Uh, the other truck is a four-door and it's not lifted. So there are two different trucks here. In case you didn't believe me, there is two different trucks on the channel here. While this one is not my truck, it is our build. Um, this is the new Turbo GMC build. That's the original Turbo GMC build. So that's a four door. Uh, same color as that one unwrapped, but two very different trucks. That one's not lifted, that one's lifted. Anyway, the we'll, we'll get this truck out, drive it a little bit and, and try and get some people's reactions and just see how it looks in different situations in the sunlight. Uh, I did notice in direct sunlight, it almost has a yellow yellowish hue to it, which is kind of cool, so.
Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.